spirit. As we gather this evening on the candlelight divine liturgy, giving thanks to our Lord God and Savior on the birth, on his birth, I greet you with much love and joy in our Lord. It's a blessing to see our church filled this morning, to see our church filled here also again this set late afternoon going into the evening. As we process and as we continue with the liturgy, I want to bring to attention a beautiful aspect of something in the Orthodox tradition that somehow seems to be forgotten sometimes. And that is, of course, when we greet each other at Christmas, of course we say Merry Christmas, Kala Christuyana. It's a beautiful thing. But the real greeting that we should be given begins on November 15th. And that starts on November 15th in the church with the beautiful hymn, Christos Yenate Voxasate. Christ is born, glorify him. So in doing so, we greet each other like we do at Easter, Christos Anesti. We say Christos Yenate, or Christ is born, glorify him. And it's a beautiful greeting because what it does, it brings the light. It brings in the present right now the feast we are experiencing. And that's something that sometimes we tend to forget. We get caught up in the busyness of our lives and we forget to live the feast fully. Merry Christmas is nice. Kara Christu Yena is good. I like it. But Christos Yenate, Christ is born, glorify him, is a beautiful way. So today, when you come up for Andidaron, Father Alexander and I are going to be giving you a piece of Andidaron and we're going to say, Christ is born. And the response is. Let's try that again. Christ is born. A beautiful thing. It brings us really into the reality. Today, as you depart this evening for church, following communion, following the end of the liturgy, receiving Andidon, in the back of the church there will be trays set up. We have trays set up that will go directly to those who are in need in our parish. Sometimes we live our lives and we forget that people do struggle and people go through difficult times. At St. Mark, as you know, we do not pass trays on a regular basis at all, only for special needs. We rely on your stewardship, giving to our Lord God and Savior and to our St. Mark Church. So therefore, if you've come here this evening and you're not a steward yet, fill out a card. If you are a steward and you haven't pledged for 2024, open up your Realm app. For those of you who have the Realm app, and make your 2024 pledge. It's that easy. It's always a blessing. Again, it's important. When you come to church here, we don't want to just always be passing trays, but rather we want to be able to put our focus on worship our Lord God and Savior. It's through your stewardship that we're able to have two priests to serve today and tomorrow, that we're able to have these life-changing ministries that are always blessing each of us. May God bless you all. Christ is born. Glorify God. God bless you.